Hi everyone. In this one, we are going to talk about the BERT model. Okay. So BERT model is a natural language processing. It is generally used to identify that in which context this sentence is. Like if you will, if we given a sentence, it will identify like it belongs to, suppose I give Microsoft, it will tell, okay, this is an organization. If I give, say, suppose location like Seattle, it will give us the location name. If I give like here also Seattle, Washington location name. So it will try to identify basically in four category. First is location, it will try to identify. Second is organization, it will try to identify. Then the person, it will try to identify. And third is miscellaneous, if it is not able to identify. Person means if the certain name is there, it will say that, okay, this is the person name. Okay, it will try to identify. This MERT model has been trained on 100, 108 million parameters. Okay, so this is very useful things to identify, to segregate the things. If you want to identify the names, you want to filter out names from your sentence and all. If you want to filter out location and all, you can use this. Okay. It can be also used for maybe let's say for data analysis because you can use these features. Okay. To identify, okay, this belongs to location, this belongs to block. Okay. So let's see the code of it. Okay. Next section. Thank you. Hi everyone, in this lecture, we are going to see about the named ET recognition that BERT model app that I was going to talk to you about in this one. So this is the bold BERT model here, NER means named ET entity recognition. It will try to identify this model that we are passing it. So what it will do, it will try to load in the local environment this model. Okay. Here, if you see this one, I will try to explain one by one. There, this is the method name, NER. This is the input. Okay. And this is the output gate completion. It will call this method. The input, we will pass it here. Okay, we will pass it paragraph and it will try to identify that it belongs to name, it belongs to place and all. So this one. And here it will show in entities, the text it will show. The entities is the output. It will give us the output. If there is any grid local server running, it will close it. This is the interface. Here in the first one, we are passing the function name. Okay. Uh, NER function name that we are passing it here. In this one, input, it will show the text box like, okay, text to find it. It will give us the label for the input. Similarly, it will give us the label for the output. Okay. And here, here we can pass the input in this format also, text format, output also it will give in text format, title it will give, description it will give, allow flagging, never. If suppose response is not coming properly and what you expected, you can raise and flag, okay, to the grade you. They will try to analyze the issue, but here I'm not raising a flag. And this one, it will show the example also, like you want to use this example, you can use this example. So it will run here, say true server the, on this port, it will run. Okay, so let me run this command. Uh, first of all, we need to install the Gradio. So let's go back to the Gradio. If we have refreshed the page, then again, we need to install this. So once that get installed, we can run that command. Okay, here we can run this command. Till the, okay, we need to import the Gradio also here. Uh, so on that run, now we can run this. You can see this. Okay. So if you want to see this, this title here, you see here, the title is coming. You see description here, the description is coming. 
you send text to find entity the input text and the output text as well text to text with entities and this is the example you can use this example as well like here if you uh, use this example here so it will commit here now you submit this one so it will convert it it will process this and you see andrew b person leave california block you get it and uh, if i give like this This one, you submit this here. Now here you one thing you try to recognize what is happening here. So here my name is Polly, Polly. Okay. So in between it tried. Okay, Paul is a person name. It identifies a person name, and I only the I part. So it divides this this two into the token kind of things. Okay. so this also it identifies as a person and by reading by paul lee paul is also person and paul lee is a also a person you trying to get it paul is a person and paulie is also a person so both are person okay not the i part both so it identifies the two things so next section we'll see that we will try to combine it if there are two tokens are there in this in the continuous way, we try to combine it similarly here hu is an organization name hu okay and this is an intermediate it is not like ging is not an it's a it's like just like it has reached the intermediate state if we combine certain word that could be also an organization name okay ging f is also an i intermediate organization name if we combine with suppose if we combine after a facebook then it will give the organization name here also face is an intermediate organization name okay so i hope you understood it here okay so now let's to combine these things if the certain things are coming together we can combine this together tokens are coming together now okay in the next section we'll see that so here if you see we are trying to combine the token here mostly uh, we will see the combining the intermediate token okay this intermediate token will try to combine it here and then we will see that how this is happening not the this one intermediate token will try to combine if you see this here start with i minus it will try to combine this entity the uh, starting word and the ending word and whatever the score of the this two token will take the average of two and will try to combine this token and append it now this is similar to that method also similar get completion it will call this method this one get completion okay this is similar to that and the title and description all things are simple only thing is that once the output we get it will try to merge the token that's it we are not doing any extra thing here so if you see this here let's see this this one some error is coming in this one for parsing let's copy this one only like whatever we get it here let's copy this here and let's see this. you see it combined the whole face okay it combined the whole face you see this one whatever the it start with i it combined it together okay let's try to use this you see poly person this one vena block hugging face or combine it together i hope you got it the points okay i hope you got the points now let's in the next section we will see the very interesting part how we can convert image to text then we will see text to image and vice versa we will see all the things so i am very excited for the next session let's go to the next section